Greetings, YouTube! It is I, Marek! And welcome back to episode 3 of the Pokemon Black Solok. On the last episode, we only managed to get one encounter, that's as far as we got. And, well, it's not like it was... It was a very good encounter either, but we'll go ahead and show you anyways. Our encounter was Nebby the fucking Tynamo. Uh, we caught it at level 2, we went ahead and grinded it up to level 5 though, because, well, at level 2, it was basically just death fodder. So, and I didn't want to lose one of our only Pokemon that early, so... That's how that was, um... And there was plenty of awesome Pokemon down there. We could have got a, a Gibble, uh... There was also some horrible Pokemon, like Bidoof, so... I'm sorry if we sound a bit off. Uh, the fucking rain has messed up my nose and I, I cannot use it anymore. Hey, Merrick! Come here for a second! Oh, but I don't want to. Is this Getsis? I think it is. So I think we know what to do with him. Hello, my name is Getsis. I am here representing Team Plasma. Today, ladies and gentlemen, I would like to talk to you about Pokemon Liberation. Who? Huh? What? I'm sure most of you believe that we humans and Pokemon are partners that have come to live together because we want and need each other. However, is that really the truth? Have you ever considered that perhaps we humans only assume that this is the truth? Pokemon are subject to the selfish commands of trainers. They get pushed around when they are partners at work. Can anyone say with confidence that there is no truth in what I'm saying? No way! Yikes! I don't know! Now, ladies and gentlemen, Pokemon are different from humans. They are living beings that contain unknown potential. They are living beings from whom we humans have much to learn. Tell me, what is our responsibility towards these wonderful beings called Pokemon? What could it be? Liberation? What in liberation? That's right! We must liberate the Pokemon! Then and only then will humans and Pokemon truly be equals. Everyone, I end my words here today by imploring you to consider the relationship between people and Pokemon, and the correct way to proceed. We sincerely appreciate your attention. I don't think half of us were paying attention anyways. Holy shit, he's got like an honor guard of bullshit. What about that speech? What do you think we should do? Liberate Pokemon? That's not even possible! Well, bye! Hey, you're Pokemon! Just now, it was saying... Slow down! You talk too fast! You're one to talk, Sharon. And what's this about Pokemon talking? That's an odd thing to say. Well, yep, they're talking all right. Oh, then you two can't hear it either. How sad. My name is Ann. Oh, Jesse, stop playing. Everybody knows it's you. Sorry, nope, my name is Ann. Well, my name is Sharon. And this is Merrick. We were asked to complete the Pokedex and we just left on our journey! My main goal is to become the champion though! <laughs> the Pokedex, huh? So, you're gonna confine many, many Pokemon and Pokeballs for that then. I'm a trainer too, but I can't help wondering, are Pokemon really happy that way? Well, Merrick, let me hear your Pokemon's voice again. Alright, well, I hope, I hope we're ready for this. 
preschooler in. Ha <laughs> ha! Man, why do I gotta be a preschooler? Uh, because that's what your IQ level is. I don't know. Alright, so he's got a level 7 dinner now. Alright, well, at least we have... You know, it's good thing we leveled him up. Otherwise, he would be too low of a level to even fight his Venom. Nope, he couldn't be paralyzed. Why would that happen? Are we really gonna play this supersonic game? More! Let me hear the voice of your Pokemon! Oh, you're about to hear something, but it's not something you're going to like. If only fucking Natsu had a goddamn fire type move. Wow, his tackle does way too much damage. I just just crit right here. Alright, he's paralyzed, it doesn't matter. Just finish him off. About to get bested by a Venonat. Not too grew to level six. Natsu grew to level 7. And there's the stab move. Man, I never expected to hear Pokemon say such things. As long as Pokemon are confined in Pokeballs, Pokemon will never become perfect beings. I have to change the world for Pokemon because they're my friends. Hey, well, bye! Ha! Strange guy! But I'm not going to worry about it. Traders and Pokemon help each other out. Listen! I'm going on ahead! I want to battle the gym leader in the next town, Striation City! Aim to battle the gym leader after gym leader. The best way for a trainer to become stronger is to challenge the gym leaders in each area. Uh, okay, bye. Can we uh, go in and heal? Because that was quite the ordeal. Alright, how many Pokeballs do I have? Oh, we had 13 total. Yeah, we're good. We are great. Let's go find an encounter. I don't think there's anything else in this, uh, this area. Uh, but maybe we'll come back and see. I don't quite know yet. Oh boy, Route 2. What the shit? Oh, hi, honey. It's your mother. How are things? Are you and your Pokemon getting along and enjoying your journey so far? I needed to talk to you, so I called. But again, I'm gonna hang up now. It's okay. I finally caught up with you, and look how far you've come already. Professor Juniper said that you were probably headed for Striation City by now. I have another present for you. Try these on. Yay, running shoes! No, don't read the instructions. No! No! Okay, Mom. Okay, I thought she was gonna want a battle. I was like, son of a bitch. Oh shit, our Route 2 encounter is! Well, I mean, okay.
Could you not do that? And it has hypnosis. And it landed hypnosis. Okay, slow your roll a minute. Alright, not to us identify, but that's fine and dandy. Just get the fucking Pokeball. One, two, three, click! Alright, so we have a hoot here. The Owl Pokemon. It marks time precisely. Some countries consider it to be a wise friend, versed in the world's ways. Give a nickname. Actually, yes. Except I don't remember the nickname. What is the name? What is the name of that owl from... From The Legend of Zelda? Okay, I don't actually know how to pronounce this. Uh, K... Oh, is it just Kpora? Is that how it's pronounced? Well, that's that's what we're gonna go with. So welcome to the team, Kpora. Let's check him out. He's quiet. Tackle, growl, foresight, hypnosis. Well, that's kind of shitty. There's probably like sweet coons and all kinds of shit here. Could have had a go lurk. I mean, that would have been pretty cool, but no. Okay, I'd rather have the hoot hoot than the lily pup. Oh yeah, I forgot we had the running shoes. Alright, let's see if we can get up to the next area and catch another Pokemon. Oh, I hated Gen 5's fucking interface. A pedal. I'm not actually sure which one I would have rather had. Go away, Lily Pup. Oh man, a Pokemon battle. All right. It's our first trainer battle, not counting the, the rivals. Crap. Oh, he's in Zangoose. I thought he said his Zangoose. I was like, oh shit, are you serious? Which wouldn't make any sense, because I've got this setting set to similar strength. So we shouldn't, that's why we shouldn't run into anything too crazy in the wild. But at the very least, we can run into like a Larvitar or something. Oh, this thing is too weak. Oh, 
Alright, Natsu. Time to try your fire magic. Alright, this kid's starting to piss me off. Okay, so he didn't want to battle. Try this key. Alright, she only has one Pokemon. And it's a meow. Holy crit! See, Nebby's trying to show off. Garbage ass lily pop. A vanity. Well, no, I didn't want that either. I'm actually quite content with the hoot hoot. Believe it or not. A freaking Paris. You know, it would be nice if Hoot Hoot had, like, Peck. You know, had some kind of flying coverage. Oh, shit. What the freak? It's a good thing Pokemon don't take damage from poison like they used to. I should probably buy a few potions while I'm here. I'm sure someone in the comments are screaming at me about it. I'll buy three. They're a little too expensive for me. a magnet and a ring target well I don't want that but the magnet will be quite useful we'll give it to Nebby to increase the damage it does like oh hi Merrick son of a bitch Hey, listen, Merrick, let's have a Pokemon battle. Please, the Pokemon I caught have become a little stronger. Ready or not, here I come. Like we have a fucking choice. I'm telling you, this bitch is pure evil. A Rogan Roller. 
Is it just rock or is that thing rock ground? I swear to ever living shit. Okay, cool, he's just a rock type. So we can handle this with ease. Oh, that's a she. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to assume her gender. This thing should have relatively no special things. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. And now we got the boost. What Pokemon did she get? Oh, she was the one that had the Sharpedo. Yes. Now I'm going to exact my revenge. Oh. My. Shit. Why? Why couldn't she just leave me alone? Just kill this thing. Do it now! Yes! I was afraid after the leer, our dear Nebby would not survive another attack. Leveled up twice, though. Like, I couldn't even win. This is no fun! <laughs> Woohoo, though! You are a tough cookie, Merrick. I'm gonna work hard on training my Pokémon so we won't lose anymore. Okay, bye-bye. Goodbye, Beach. So long. Get out of here. Out of my face. I, I don't even want to talk to you. No, I do not. Alright, so let's see. I don't think it's gonna let us go this way. I think this old bitch stops us. Shut the hell up. God damn it. <sighs> Fucking old man, I swear. I'm going to tell Giovanni to come fuck your ass up. Stupid bitch. At least I can go in here. Damn it! This was the. This is a trainer. I didn't know it was a trainer. I. There's a lady. Or there's someone in here. A shinx. Well. Oh, for fuck's sake. Holy crit, Nanny! Well, that certainly was a pleasant surprise. We're gonna try out our hoot hoot. Try and land a hypnosis. Yes! Sleep away, say it true. It's going to do almost no damage. Well, this is shit. Stop it. 
Ha! You can't blind Kapora with your sand shit! Oh my shit, the defense curls! Alright, we're gonna have to use Natsu. I mean, he shouldn't have a ground nuke, so it's fine. The fucking sand attack nuke. Alright, this enemy AI is pissing me off! Alright, way to go, Natsu! Now, where is the beach that gives you the... That looks like two trainers ready to fight! And I am not ready! Come on, I just wanted to get another encounter at the end of this episode! Alright, now Nebby's putting in the work. A Krogan. I should have stayed in and then Thunderwave and ended the shit. Ah, if only k Pora knew a fucking even peck! Just a flying move! With crew? Alright, that's fine with me, bitch! Furry damage! Why? So you lowered my speed by three! And you only did three damage with that one attack. Go ahead, send in your sleeping beauty. I'm going to destroy it. It's almost as if they're playing like the CPU has like a competitive AI. And then they use ground and ghost moves on a normal flying type. Charmander? Really? Then Burmy could be a- Please don't do it. Did I really get a Burmy? Alright, I got a power herb. I can't do anything in a dream yard. Was there another entrance? The one right here that you have to have cut for. Son of a bitch. <sighs> Let's check out this Burmy. I mean, it's level 10, so we don't have to train it. Protect and tackle. He has shed skin, that's kind of... <sighs> Alright, well we're gonna rush back to the Pokemon Center and wrap this episode up here. Uh, if you guys enjoyed watching us catch these fucking encounters, I mean, I, I like Noctowl, but really, a hoot hoot, that's the best it can do. <sighs> if you enjoyed this episode, hit that like button down below for us, we appreciate the support. Uh, we appreciate the new subscribers we've been getting too. 
Um, and you can follow us and all that social shit. We post every time we upload new content. The link for all that's in the description below. Always remember to save your game, because if you were to lose that data, it would probably still be the same. But we're going to get the frig out of here, and we'll see you guys in the next episode.